Hey everybody, Solo Warlock coming to you guys with part 8 of Spyro 2 Season of Flame. So in last episode we did Candy Lane, and in this episode we'll be doing another level. Actually, I believe there's a level up top, and it's the Sheila level, right? And then I believe after that we have Water Topia and Winter Mesa. Pretty sure Winter Mesa is kind of like a throwback to the game that came before this. But Lunar Ledges. You two wouldn't want to leave me with nothing, would you? A mere 1,000 gems will see you through this fine portal here. Uh, I guess so. Now that's the spirit. There's nothing like a few gems to brighten up a day, is there? Well, I guess we'll go in. Like That was extremely costly. Now, upload times have been sickening. Like, three hours for a 20-minute video? Phew. I paid her internet bill, though, like... I got enough money for it finally, so hopefully no more slow uploads. Where are we? Did you pick up a dist uh, distress signal or something? Blimey, those stirrers have covered the landing pads with rocks. If we don't clear them off soon, any landing rockets could meet with disaster. I jump at the chance to teach those Rhinox a lesson. Okay, um, I'm assuming like three or four hundred gems. Four hundred, because it is the tougher of the two. Technically. You got these Rhinox you gotta watch out for, because they they have like a weird triple shot attack. You just gotta be very careful. Boink. So there's ten landing pads all together. I don't think this will be too difficult. I really wish there was like a Crash Bandicoot game I could play, but there is no Crash game I can play until the uh, remasters come out, because I've technically played them all, I believe. Actually, I don't think I've played Crash 3 on this channel, but... I don't have the game right now, so it's, it's not really possible. Not until June, I believe. I believe it's June that it comes out for the PS4, like the trilogy. Then I'll just replay the trilogy because my Let's Play of the first game was kind of crappy. Hang on. Anytime you see like a carpet like this, you can generally just jump down. But Oh, never mind. It's actually a trick. Sneaky. I love when a game is sneaky with you, eh? I feel like these levels are so slow-paced, yet at the same time they don't take very long to complete. And there's green cheese everywhere. Is it like the joke on moon cheese? I really think it's moon cheese. <laughs> and I'm not talking about Menchi, the mayor of Calgary. Nope. I'm talking about moon cheese, the green smelly cheese that nobody wants to eat. Oh, I... Can't actually hit them from up there. Uh oh. Woo! For some reason, I couldn't get around there. Ah, here's where I get up. Damn it! I totally seen that coming as well. That was my own fault. <laughs> Boom! Now we're down to six left. We're not doing too bad here, Sheila. Though I don't know how we left Australia, ended up in outer space. Like we're not on Earth. We're literally in outer space on the moon. That's creepy. What the hell is a kangaroo doing in outer space? We shall never know. Ow. Oh, that guy couldn't do anything because of his positioning. Like, he was literally stuck down there. They have to have other tiles to shoot on, but he couldn't because of his positioning. Whoa. Man. I thought for a second there that guy would never land so I could kill him. But he finally did. <laughs> Boom. Ah, man. I've been recording this game like crazy the last few days. It's fun, though. It really is. It's a great game. And I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's, like I said, the best for the uh, GBA Spyro games. I believe there's health over this way, though, where the screen gem is. Yep, thank you. I don't know, it's sometimes really hard to avoid enemies like that. You know, the ones that shoot. Especially if you can't see them. I only need one more, right? Yeah. Oh god, what the hell is that? It's a guy with like a mine on his head. Like, there's... There's nothing I could do about that. That was evil. Oh, and we have lives as Sheila. But there's no checkpoints, which really suck. 
Like, I really don't like that that there's no checkpoints, though. Technically speaking, I don't think the Sheila levels are very long. They just take a long time due to the fact that they're, like, tiles. But then even then, in comparison to spiral levels, these are really short. This makes spiral levels seem, like, really long. And even then, 10-15 minutes for a level isn't that long. If you think about it. Man, in some modern games, or, like... Like, a lot of modern games literally have, like, 10 missions, and all of a sudden, like, each mission takes, like, an hour, and you're like, well, this sucks. It's like, I don't have a lot of time to finish this. Oh, why can't I hurt him? Oh. Oh, you have to wait for him to lose his hat. Okay, that's weird. Boink. And we got ourselves the other fire... Well, the only firefly. Why did I say the other firefly? We got Kindle, which actually makes complete sense for being a, uh... Don't go in there by accident. For being a firefly. You know, keeping warmth. Whoa. Like, the fact that you gotta wait for them to lose their hats is very annoying because you don't know when they're actually gonna lose them. Like, it looks like it's at a random time frame. Shit. This is gonna be difficult. So I think it's, what, three shots? I think it's three shots. We had a few game overs. Like, we literally only have one life left and then we lose, so this could be annoying. Because I really think there's actually more than just one of him left. The fact that there's no health in that general vicinity makes it even harder. So I'm hoping things change a little bit. With our luck. This is the ending up here, right? Yeah, this is, this is close to the ending. It's actually a longer level than I was expecting, like, distance-wise here. Boing. Oops. Yeah, because that little, that little ledge makes it so you can't hop up. Oh yeah, like I was supposed to know that was going to happen, man. Oh, I get it. They have to hit it th hit themselves. Run! There we go. It's a little easier once you realize the attack pattern. But now I need health, so I gotta go back. Like, no way I'm being able to take down that other guy without health. I need some health this way, right? There we go. I also feel like this game doesn't have enough fodder here and there. Like, with the way the controls are and with the camera angles, you get hit by a lot of enemies you cannot see. And that just makes things a lot more difficult. Like, I know that enemy and that gem are the last ones. There are literally no more gems. Is this guy's positioning in a worse spot? Kind of. And boom! And we beat the level. So another level bites the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one is so done. Yeah! Sheila level, you're done. You're the only one here. Actually, no. Wait. We already did one. I'm assuming the next world will have one Sheila and one Agent 9. And maybe more Spyro. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we need to get some fodder, then after we get some fodder, I think we can move on to the next level. Oh, there's some fodder. Where I did this level, so that doesn't really mean anything. There is a level over here, though, and I believe this is Watertopia. 
Yep, so let's go to the level Watertopia. Doesn't really sound like a late mid-game level. Or, well, just mid-game in general. It sounds too... Then again, need I remind people that Zephyr was a level. And Zephyr had like a... It literally meant Gentle Breeze. 15 Rhinox. My girlfriend would like this. Hi, Spyro. It's great to see you again. Welcome to our city by the waves. It's too bad you couldn't see it under happier circumstances. Rhinox soldiers just stormed the city and we can't do anything. They're really tough. I wish someone could get rid of them all. Now, if you guys haven't actually played the first game, she's actually from the first game. Oh yeah, you actually have to charge these guys. But yeah, they're, they're from the, mum uh, the, the mummies. The mummies are back. Uh, the mermaids, though, are from the first game back in literally, I think it's the first level. It's either the first or second stage of the game. It's kind of cool to see that there's a, a character come back. Just kind of like in every Spyro game, there's at least one character that does come back. And Okay, so instead of making shamrocks, we are now making, like, what, frozen lilies? Frozen daisies, maybe? Yeah, if you bonga, just upload his video. Oh, this level! I was really hoping we wouldn't have to deal with these platforms, but I forgot that they were in the game. And they're very, very finicky when stepping on. We only have one life, so we gotta be careful. You know, especially if we die, we have to come back to the level completely. So we can find a life here. And there's a good chance that you could fall in the water because of, like, the way the camera angles and stuff are here. And you don't want that to happen now, do you? I really feel like we have all the abilities and we don't have to backtrack, though. Like, if you guys notice, now that we have the head bash ability, we haven't been able to... Or haven't had the issue of not being able to complete a level. We've been able to complete every level in this world so far. Unless we've just been lucky in going to every level that we can complete. I'm just pretty sure the other places give you extra health. Or like the other boss gives you extra health. Or maybe like increased gem pickup range. Something small like that. A room full of mummies. Oh yeah, I forgot to check our atlas to see what uh, kind of fireflies we have here. We have the Rhinox, another thief. A flower that frees the flowers on only three runaway ones. There's only there's, there's 400 gems here, but there's only six fireflies, and we already found one. Hydra, that doesn't really fit. Not when you're fire. It's more of a water name or like a sea serpent creature type name. If you guys ever watched my God of War series, you guys would know. I love God of War, by the way. Can't wait to play the PS4 one for you guys as well. Forgot that was supposed to be coming out this year. Like, we don't have a release date, but it says this year. Like, Santa Monica Studios keeps saying, like, Oh yeah, despite the hiring of people that, you know, the, that we have to keep hiring people, we'll actually have the game out in time. It's, it's not delayed at all or anything like that. And I'm like, okay, but I did not go in there. It's like, it seems a little weird that you guys haven't finished the game yet. Or, or it's even close, or even has a release date. Normally, people like to pre-order games. Like, normally, I don't. I pre-order just in case it's going to be a big seller, so I don't... Just in case I don't get my copy. Like, I pre-ordered Destiny 2, uh, Call of Duty World War 2, and the Fractured Butthole. I haven't... Shit, why did I charge into him? I didn't pre-order anything like, um... Shit. Crash Bandicoot or anything. Actually, I don't even know if you can. I really don't. That gem is way too close to the water for my liking. And there's going to be a thief in here, so I guess we'll just go and try and get it. Oh, it's already running. Cheater! I like the setup for this level better. Wow, he was fast, but we got him. Let's give this crown back to Queen Stacy. Queen Stacy. I got the queen isn't the one at the end of the level or anything. Thanks ever so much. You are such a help. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Wait, I know. Take this royal orb as a thank you. Ouchies, what kind of orb is this? You're a queen and don't know what you, the orb is. Really? Chili. As in the food. Mmm, I love some good chili. Do I go this way? Where the hell do I go? I always hated this level due to the fact that it's literally like a giant maze. Oh, something over there, but I don't think we can reach that just yet. I 
Can I fly over there? No. Definitely gotta go at that at a different angle. Wait, actually, I think we're done over here. I think we need the uh, platform again. Okay, yeah, there's, there's two platforms. Technically, one goes each way. Wait, this is just one part of the level. I believe if you die, I'm, I have a feeling that the uh, um, enemies would reset. Oh, there we go. Oh, for some reason my breath was delayed. Oh. Wait, do I have sparks or does Spyro just somewhat pick up from a distance? Maybe he picks up from a distance, I don't know. Or is it acting like I have sparks, but I really don't? Maybe that's the case. I have no idea, honestly. So I'm kind of happy I'm picking up the gems. This is annoying if you have to step on them. Hey, right, so far so good. Hey, Firefly, don't mind if I do. We got Ishtar. Like, Merrick Ishtar? Shizu Ishtar from Yu-Gi-Oh! You guys know? Oh, hey. A checkpoint, though I'm pretty sure the checkpoint won't really save us. Not at this point. Because we have no health or lives. Like, does, do you guys actually see any fodder around here? I don't. I seriously don't see any fodder. Why are there so many mummies? Like, well, that's it? Can you... Can you not leave the level on me, please? Phoenix. I'm pretty sure all we need is one more lying around than the um, final level one. Or, like, the end of the level one. Which is technically kill all the enemies. Yeah, see, there's the other one. End of life and full health. Agni. Oh, so lives don't give you full health. Okay. Every other spiral game, they give you full health. Lame. I feel like Sparks is broken for some reason. Like, he was picking up gems as if he were here, but he really wasn't. There we go. We can charge jump, it just doesn't work very often. Oh, dude, don't do that. That was the last of the night, Rhinox Spyro. Let's go tell Steffi. Man. This level is actually very short and easy, if you think about it. Betcha that's a five as well. Yep, that's all the gems. Steffi was back this way, right? Oh, we're Steffi. There. Damn it, this is the challenge portal. This is not the exit portal. Oh yeah, she's just back here. She's across the platform. Platforms. There you are. Kind of want to ride on you. Get it ride on you. Like ride on the Pokemon. I, I, I don't know if that was actually funny. That's pretty lame. I'm not going to lie. Oh my gosh, you did it. You got rid of all the soldiers. Thanks for helping out again, Spyro. You're a really great friend. Here's a glowworm I found struggling in the water. Oops, it got away. It's not a glowworm. It is Smolder. Smolder Boulder. And with that, we can literally just leave the level. I feel like Watertopia is actually easier than the first level of the previous game. The previous game was, I don't know, it wasn't easy. By any stretch of the imagination. And that's 400 more gems added to the total. After money bags took a thousand, we're still down 200. Damn money bags! Ah, we gotta get some more, some more health, I guess. And then in the next episode, I guess we'll go to um, uh, what's it called? Winter Mesa? You think we'll have to use Fire Breath there? Pretty sure we'll have to use Fire Breath. Uh, no, wait, that's not Winter Mesa. Winter Mesa's down here, I believe. Yeah, Winter Mesa's over here. So anyways, guys, in the next episode, we'll be going to the last level, and then probably doing, hopefully, the boss and...
and the next home world in the next episode. So if you guys are excited to see more of this let's play, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all next time. This has been Solar Warlock, peace out.